How you doing everyone? Welcome to 8 Bits in the Basement. So today you find me in my solder area. It's a little area I created in behind where you usually see me. And um, I finally kind of managed to get it serviceable. It's not finished yet, but it is serviceable. So I got my bench in, I got a power supply in, and I managed to put a covering on the partition here at the back. And I've installed a couple of lights just kind of temporarily anyway for the moment until I get something a little better set up. So what I would like to show you in this video today isn't a whole lot to be honest with you. Um, I'm sure you've seen videos on YouTube before and across the internet about um, solder pumps or desoldering pumps. And what I did was I was in need of one because what I've been using right the way along for the last couple of years is this, this guy. It's the only one I've ever had. And uh, it works well. It does work well. But it's slow. It gets blocked up. And if you have to desolder an awful lot of thingies, it'll take you forever to do it. Um, so I decided to buy myself a cheap Chinese uh, solder sucker. Any further ado whatsoever, we'll get into opening up this bag and see what I got. Now, so I'll cut the side off it anyway. There we go. So what I have in here is a bag within a bag. There we go. Here we are. Okay. Whoa. So here we are, here's my solder sucker. Oh, and they've given me a few a few little um a few little adapters with it because I believe it has a Chinese uh a Chinese plug on the end of it. So they they've given me a US one and also a Euro one. They're Euro European ones. 30 so, watt, uh 220 volt, 50 hertz. We'll see what the score is on it and we'll see what it's like. So we'll open her out here. Yeah, this is the device anyway. Now, I know that before there was a lot of criticism about this here not being well, um, not being well fixed in and you could pull out the, the cable. It seems that that's after being fixed up. Uh, there's a button here on the side to do the solder socking. This guy here contains the wires, I believe, that, um, that uh, power the temperature thingy inside there and there we go and uh, that's pretty much it we'll try opening this up anyway straight away just to see what the story is here so on the inside oh here we go okay we've got a little bar with a piece of rubber on the end of it that's there and then i've got a spring that goes in that way around and that is pretty much it. There you go. That's pretty much it. So we'll put that together. We'll put our little spring back in here if it wants to go back in. There we go. I believe that's a, an electromagnet down the end. And when the button is pressed, it sucks this guy back. You see? And that's what gives us our suction. Now, two solder nozzles with it. There's one which seems to be... Um, extremely small here it's got an extremely small hole in the end of it and there's another one in here that's a larger it's got a larger hole in it um, and it seems the way that they undo is just simply to screw on and screw off ah, and it's also got this guy here to clear out the nozzle okay Okay, well that seems fair enough. I'm going to plug it in and we'll see what happens here. Plug it in and just see what happens. So, from what I've heard on the web or from what I've read, uh, these get very hot and they don't seem to cool down. There's, there's no thermostat on it as such. So I think the thing is, uh, you plug it in when you want to use it and plug it out when you finish using it because you don't want the whole thing to melt. So that's pretty much the way it seems to work. So I'm going to plug that in there. Um, that seems that seems you can hear the, the suction. There we go. So we'll see. We'll see if it heats up okay. And we will see what it can do. Doesn't seem to be at a temperature where it can melt solder yet. Ah, there we go. 
Okay, it seems to be up to temperature now. I'm going to try this real quick. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove this cap right here, which are these two little, these two little pins sticking out here. Now, so here we are. I'm just going to put this over. We'll wiggle it around a bit so the solder melts. Over the second one. Wiggle it around till the solder melts. There we go. And we're still a little bit stuck. There we go. It's just the residual solder that's holding it. And there we go. Bop. Desoldered. There we go. That's, um, that's this little guy. This little solder sucky guy. So what I will do is... I'm going to plug it out now and let it cool down. As we've seen, it's working and whatever. Now give it a little clean and once it cools down, we'll have a look at that. Now, um, it does spit back the solder. When it takes the solder out, uh, if you let go of the button, it'll spit it back out because that's the nature of the pump. This here is the solder that has been spat back out uh, by it. <laughs> so uh, you want to be careful, I suppose, using it on a board that when you've pressed on the button, you want to take it away from the board before you release the button again, or it'll spit this back onto the board on you, which is something you don't want. I reckon this guy is cool enough that we can um, we can open her up and see what's what there again. Main thing I suppose here is on this part. So it's after collecting a little bit of solder. I don't think it really makes any difference, but it's it's after collecting a bit there on the end of it, on the rubber on the end of it there. Oops. Here you'll see. So that wasn't there before. That was black before, but um, that can be that can be removed. There you go. It, it gets hot. It melts solder. You press a button. It activates a uh, a little electromagnet that pulls on a suction cup that creates a little vacuum and sucks the solder into itself. And that's pretty much it. That is how it functions. I'll let you know. How I get on with it and how it goes for me. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching.